Hello and welcome back. Today we've got a very important tutorial, support plans in AWS. Now keep in mind, this is super important because at least, very likely at least one question on the exam will be about support plans, maybe more. So let's have a look. Uh, in AWS, there are five support plans ranging from basic to enterprise. And as you go from left to right, they uh, become more expensive, but also you get more features. And these features, <laughs> unfortunately, uh, you have to learn off by heart and know for the exam. Uh, and hopefully this image will help you um, remember them in a structured way. So let's get going. Uh, with the basic plan, you only get email support and that is only for billing and account questions. No kind of uh, architectural guidance will be provided here. Uh, with the developer plan, you get email support. And with the other three, you get uh, much more uh, kinds of support. You get 24 seven phone, email and chat support. Plus, and this is important for the exam, uh, you get access to a support API for programmatic case management. Um, so a typical question in the exam might be something like, uh, you are looking for the most cost-effective AWS support plan, which still provides you uh, programmatic case management. And in that case, the answer would be the business support plan. Now, uh, what uh, kind of uh, contacts and cases are available in each of these? For Well, in basic, you don't have any contacts and cases. In a developer plan, you have one contact and unlimited cases. What does this one contact mean? Well, that means that only one person on your team, <laughs> probably you, because I guess that's what the developer uh, support plan is all about. It's like an individual de developer um, creating stuff in AWS or like... Um, using it for practice or, um, you know, building things on their own. And so then, therefore, one person from your team, meaning probably you, uh, can contact AWS support. And at the same time, you can raise unlimited number of questions and num number of cases. Uh, whereas in the other three plans on the right, you have unlimited contacts, as many people as you like, uh, can contact the support and have unlimited number of cases open. Now, what? Uh, how quickly do they reply? Uh, for... Uh, general guidance uh, questions, all of these four plans, except for basic because you don't get general guidance there, but the rest of the four plans, they uh, reply within 24 hours. Uh, for a system impaired or something not working, they reply within 12 hours. In uh, the business enterprise on-ramp and enterprise, uh, if a production system is impaired, so it's more serious, something's not working in your production environment, uh, you get an answer within four hours. If a production system is down, it's not working at all, uh, you get a reply within one hour. And then in Enterprise on Ramp, if a business critical system is down, you get a reply within 30 minutes. And in the case of Enterprise, you get a reply within 15 minutes. Um, so yeah, these are important to remember for the exam. Next, uh, we've got concierge services. So basically, this is someone um, who helps you with uh, billing and account analysis, or basically AWS will help you with billing and account analysis to cut down your costs. Those are available in Enterprise on Ramp and Enterprise. Uh, in Enterprise on Ramp, you get access to a pool of technical account managers. These are people who can provide you with guidance uh, on your architectural setup and also direct you to the right uh, AWS experts. Uh, whereas in enterprise, you get a designated technical account manager. So these two are similar, but in enterprise and RAMP, just remember you get access to a pool of them. So it's not guaranteed you'll get the same person every time. Whereas in enterprise, you get a designated um, technical account manager and they're actually monitoring your environment and making sure, you know, working with you make, to make sure that everything is running uh, smoothly. And they can also direct you to the right experts in AWS. Uh, next, uh, for general guidance, for architectural guidance. In the case of develop, the developer plan, you only get general architectural guidance, whereas in the other three, in business enterprise and on ramp and enterprise, you get gui architectural guidance specific to you. They're slightly different, but that's the main similarity. So uh, in business, you get guidance contextual to your use cases. In enterprise on ramp, you get a consultative review based on your application once applications once per year. In an enterprise, you get a consultative review, we get more than one consultative review based on your applications. But the main thing to remember for the exam, I would say is that in the developer, it's general architectural guidance. In the other three, it's specific to your use cases and applications. Also, you get access to um, 
in the business enterprise and and enterprise plans, you get access to AWS Managed Services uh, or AMS, an abbreviation inside an abbreviation uh, for an additional fee. Uh, I actually had a question about this on the exam. So uh, remember what AWS Managed Services means or AMS, it means basically um, you are able to augment your existing team by like adding, uh, like I'm doing a quotation, floating quotation marks, adding people to your team uh, from the AWS side. So you get a cloud service delivery manager, you get a cloud architect, and you get access to the AMS security team. They're not physically going to join your team and you're not gonna be, they're not going to be your, your employees, but they'll be available for you so you can get access to a cloud architect who can help you build things. Uh, but uh, yes, that'll cost an additional fee. Uh, you also, in terms of the trusted advisor, you get seven core trusted advisor checks uh, with the first two. So you even get them in the free plan, which is the basic plan. And in the others, you get all uh, trusted advisor checks. Um, and that's another important question for the exam. Uh, in terms of enterprise, you get online self-paced uh, labs uh, that's uh, for learning. And uh, finally, in regards to the pricing, the basic plan is free. Um, the developer plan is at least $29 a month. When I say at least, meaning that there's this minimum price of $29 a month. And then there's also the like alternative, if you use AWS a lot uh, and your monthly usage is high, they're gonna charge, basically they charge the maximum of either $29 or I think it's 10% of your AWS monthly usage. So whatever is greater. Um, same thing for business, minimum is $100. Uh, enterprise on ramp is five and a half thousand dollars a month and enterprise is fifteen thousand uh, dollars but and and or the which is like the maximum of that amount specified here or a percentage of your AWS monthly usage uh, which that percentage can be between three percent and ten percent so please check that uh, pricing page which I linked to over there uh, in the footnotes because this percentage can change over time and also even these uh, minimum amounts can change over time. So there we go. That's how AWS support plans work. I highly recommend keeping this page in mind or this uh, image in mind and actually reviewing it before the exam uh, to help you remember these things because unfortunately you do have to memorize uh, some of them, but hopefully this image helps. On that note, uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I look forward to seeing you back here next time and until then, enjoy the cloud.